It's a frozen whole pig. <laughs> Russia, a place of vibrant culture, mysterious beauty, and mayonnaise. So much mayonnaise. I'm Adina Steinman from Epicurious, and I've come to Net Cost Market in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, one of a chain of Russian supermarkets across New York and Pennsylvania, to learn more about the food of my family's heritage. And there's no better way to explore it, aside from booking a trip to Moscow, than Net Cost's mile-long, double-wide buffet. It's time to get lost in the supermarket. What I love about this is that the Russians will literally pickle anything. In addition to pickles, you also have whole pears that they've pickled. I don't know why they've pickled them. Apples, pickled green tomatoes, pickled watermelon. I've never had pickled pear before. It's definitely very firm. Wow, I expected it to just be tangy from vinegar, but it's actually like a little garlicky. It has like a sweet sour note to it that's really delicious. Now we're getting like into some serious carnivorous territory. I'm looking for chicken cutlets. Here it says cutlets baby. I'm very charmed by that. I'm gonna try some cutlets baby. It's a good baby cutlet. This is like busting out with chicken liver. I don't know about any other supermarket that has entire whole coils of blood sausage. This is one of my favorite things. It's actually called herring in a winter coat. In Russia, you wear a lot of layers. So here, you have layers, herring, grated beets, carrots. There's definitely a ton of mayonnaise in here. Pickles, probably some canned peas, all in this kind of gorgeous stack. These are two kinds of holodiets, which my grandmother sometimes makes, but I've so far in my life avoided eating. I'm gonna take this really small piece. This is little bits of chicken with this delightfully firm layer of gelatin on top. <laughs> it is good. It is very flavorful, very garlicky. I'm sure it's something that really um, grows on you and soon you just can't stop eating holidays. If I want to graduate from merely tasting Russian food to actually cooking it, I need to break free of the buffet motherland. I need to explore the ingredients themselves. I need to venture further into the other aisles of net cost. You can always tell how much one culture loves something by how many options it provides of that thing in its supermarket. Russian people really love cured meat products. It just keeps on going. There's cured pork. There's like all of these loose sausages over here. Over there is like a whole other meat section. Here they have all of these house smoked options. Could I get a slice of the veal roll? It has this delightful coil of crushed black pepper and I'm gonna guess garlic in there too. Way more flavorful than your average smoked ham. It's really good. He looks so peaceful. Wow, this is actually pretty heavy. This is a frozen whole pig. Full grown beef tongue is large. And um, yeah, cute quails all in a row. I'm not gonna pick up that rabbit, but there's rabbit too. So another thing that's very common is to give gifts of chocolate. This chocolate aisle isn't just here. It continues like all the way down this aisle, all boxed chocolates. Historical themes here too. 1924, the uh, Russian Troika. Uh, who could forget? Now you can remember it while eating chocolate. This pretty much looks like a normal produce aisle. You have your berries, your citrus, your apples. But I think the part of it that's most unique is the root vegetable section. A lot of times it'll be hard to find things like celery root, black radish, really enormous parsnips. Over here is barrels of food. Two words, sour cream. This is all sour cream, easily a dozen different varieties. I like the boldness of this, Amish style, high fat sour cream. All of these are like regular fat or high fat. All of that high fat sour cream is delicious on this wide selection of frozen dumplings. Frozen fruit section in an ordinary supermarket, not super exciting, but I get very excited here because they have really unusual things like 
frozen red currants. Black currants too. Sea buckthorn is a really unusual kind of like tart citrusy berry that's kind of trendy nowadays, but it's impossible to find fresh or frozen. Like I've literally never seen it anywhere except at net cost. Like a shot of vodka and a bite of pickled herring, Netcost is a one-two punch of the familiar and the strangely exotic. Armed with leaking takeout boxes and way too much buckwheat, I'm ready to do even more eating and cooking at home. Just don't ask me to eat another bite of gelatinous chicken.